All right, so today we're going to do compare and contrast. So as you can see, we use a Venn diagram for compare and contrast. It says this type of text structure shows how two or more things are alike or different. Signal words for comparing similar things are same, similar, alike, and both. So we've used those words before. Signal words for contrasting differences as opposed to, instead of, on the other hand, different, dissimilar, and whereas. So we'll see those as we do different articles because we'll work on other articles next week. So we've already changed using blue to highlight similarities and we'll use green to highlight differences. Everybody's got that? Perfect. All right, so read your up nice and loud. There are many similar similarities and differences between a squid and an octopus. One obvious feature that is similar between the two is their arms. They both have eight arms with suckers at the end of each. But if you take a closer look, you will see that a squid has hooks on its suckers which help it grip its prey. Squids also have two additional tentacles. Octopuses have more, more of a round body, where, whereas squids have long, thin, thin bodies and two fins on their head that help them move in the water. Though both live in the tropical oceans of the world, the octopus prefers living and uh, living alone on the, bo o the ocean floor or in ocean caves. However, the squid favors being in schools with other squids living in the open ocean. This is why their diet is different as well. Octopuses eat sea bottom fresh crustaceans and squids prey on fish and shrimp swimming in the water. water. Okay, so that's our article about squids and octopuses. So if you look down here in our Venn diagram, we have squids over here, we have octopuses over here, usually we write them at the top, but this person chose to put them here. What goes in here? Why isn't this section marked? What goes in here? Bryson? Because that means they're the same. That means they're the same. Very good. So that's how we're going to set this up. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to look for similarities. So we're going to circle those words that show us where similarities are in blue, and then we're going to underline those things so we can put them in the middle section of our diagram. So. What are some of the words or signal words? And they're up here. Same, similar, alike in both. And let's find some of the ways octopuses and squids are the same. So give me one. Um, there is one obvious feature that is similar between the two is their arms. Okay, so we're gonna cir circle similar. And their, sim their arms are similar. And then I'm going to skip over here because this goes along with arms. It says both have eight arms with suckers at the end of each. So that's one way they're similar. Okay. What's another way that they're similar? So she found one down here, both. And they both live in tropical oceans of the world. Okay. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add those to our chart. So with a bullet, you're gonna write that in the middle and we'll make it as short as we can. Um, they both have eight arms. What's wrong, honey? And our other both is live in tropical oceans. Okay, so those are our boats. Then you need your other color as soon as you're done writing. Take your time. Job. I, I like that you guys wrote in your Venn diagram with your pencils and not your colored pencils and crayons. Good job. Good choice. All right, so let's look for the words that mean that they are different. So you've got signal words again. So as opposed to, instead of, on the other hand, different from, dissimilar, whereas. So see if you can find some of those words and tell me how squids and octopus are different. Scarlet, give me one. Okay, so I'm going to underline octopus here. Have more of a rounded body. And then what's my, my word, my signal word? Do you see it? Look at the comma. Bryson, do you see it? Um, yep, so right here, using that comma, it's showing me that it's changing. So I'm in a circle whereas. And then I've got squids. They have long, thin bodies. So while we've got that underlined in green, let's go ahead and put that on our Venn diagram because we have to be careful. So whatever you put in for a squid, you have to put as an, for an octopus. They have to mirror each other. So we're gonna talk about their bodies. So octopus, and he's down here on this side, we're gonna put, he has a rounded body Good, buddy. And then over here, our squid has a long, thin body. Okay, and if you're finished, go scouting for another way that they're different. Look for those signal words. Carlos. Squids eat fish and shrimp. And octopuses eat. I'm looking for. Okay, so we're down here with diets. So I'm sorry, you said squids eat shrimp. And octopuses, can you pronounce that? Crustaceans. 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 That's a long word. Crustaceans. So, but where's our signal word that's starting to tell us about how these are different? Where's the signal word? Or what is the signal word? Carlos, can you see it up there? What's closest to where this is that's a signal word? Here's my sentence, but my signal word's not in there. Diet? Not diet. You're looking for words like different, instead of, 
on the other hand, however, different. Yep, we've got the word different right here. So it's telling us that their diets are different. You were right, you found the word diet, and then you just needed to travel down here. So their diets are different. So my octopus eats crustaceans. And my squid eats shrimp. You've got to add um, fish for, for squid. Oh, you're right. Fish and squid, shrimp and good catch. And we've got one more. One more. Um, Scarlet. Okay, so our octopus likes to live on the ocean floor or in ocean caves. Mm -hmm. You're right. And then what's our signal word? What's our signal word? Everybody take a good look. What's our signal word? I've got the same peeps. Signal word, signal word. Read. Find it? Yeah. What is it? However. Yep. However. However. And so now what's it's gonna what is it gonna tell us about? I'm tongue tied today. So we talked about the octopus. Once we have that word however, what's gonna come next? Who am I gonna hear about? The squid. I'm gonna hear about the squid. And where does our friend the squid live? Um, Jack. Yep, in the open ocean. So, my octopus friend over here, he lives on ocean floor or cave, ocean cave. And the squid likes to live in the open ocean.